Welcome to ESL Now. My name is Selim. In this lesson, we're going to talk about 10 reasons why English can be difficult to learn. Okay, so are you ready? Let's dive in. So number one is irregular spelling and pronunciation. Irregular spelling and pronunciation. So you have to know that English has many words that aren't spelled phonetically, making pronunciation a challenge. Okay, so English has many words that aren't spelled phonetically, making pronunciation a challenge. Number two, homophones, homophones, words that sound the same but have different meanings and spellings. Words that sound the same but have different meanings and spellings, like two, two, and two, 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 and two. Number three is idioms and slang. Idioms and slang. English is full of expressions that don't make sense when translated literally. English is full of expressions that don't make sense when translated literally. Number four, verb tenses. Verb tenses. English has many verb tenses and irregular verbs that can be confusing if you don't pay attention. English has many verb tenses and irregular verbs that can be confusing. Articles, articles. The use of a, an, and the can be perplexing, as not all languages use articles. Phrasal verbs, that's number six. Phrasal verbs. Combinations of words with preposition or adverbs that change the meaning, like give up or look after. Combinations of verbs with prepositions or adverbs that change the meaning, like give up or look after. So number seven is large vocabulary. Large vocabulary. English has one of the largest vocabularies of any language. English has one of the largest vocabularies of any language. Subtle differences. That's number eight. Subtle differences. There are many words with similar meaning that are used in very specific contexts. There are many words with similar meanings that are used in very specific contexts. Number nine, word order. Word order. 
the syntax of English can be tricky, especially for speakers of languages with flexible word order. Okay, so the syntax of English can be tricky, especially for speakers of languages with flexible word order. And number 10, cultural references. Cultural references. English often includes references to Western culture, which might be unfamiliar to learners. English often includes references to Western culture, which might be unfamiliar to learners. 